Well, today Ember here is going to help me check out the chip computer. We're going to look at getting some video games running, uh, and mainly we're going to be looking at uh, Nintendo emulators. So uh, let's go see if we can get Mario Brothers 3 running. How about that? Yeah. Okay. First up, we're going to try out an emulator that I normally use called FCEUX. Uh, we're going to run Mario Brothers 3 with the default settings. So here we go. So it starts up in a window, and the animation seems good but there's no sound. Also, if I get out my keyboard here and Alt Enter, it's kind of stretched. It doesn't quite go full screen. It's not perfect. There's still no sound. Now, there's a lot of settings we can, we can change on this, um, but let's try another emulator first and see how well that one works out of the box. Okay, now we're going to try an emulator called Mednafen, which uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It, uh, it is not only a Nintendo emulator, it's also a Super Nintendo emulator, Game Boy, and maybe Game Boy Advanced, I feel like, maybe. I haven't used this one much, but let's see how it runs with its default settings after you install it. So, by default, it's in a window, and it's so large it's going off the screen, and the animation is very, very slow. Uh, so now we can tweak the configurations for both of these emulators and see if we can get this running full screens where it fills the whole screen and we have sound and the animation isn't jerky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the second one, the second emulator, and see if we can get it running properly. Okay, both Ember and Curious George are excited to play some Super Mario Bros. 3. I made a few changes to the config file uh, for our emulator. And uh, it was maybe six or seven lines. I just had to change some settings. Let's go ahead and give it a run. Oh, we got it full screen. Animation seems to be good. Let's go ahead and get out our keyboard here. And we have sound. And let's see. Here we go. So we've definitely got this running fairly well. It's full screen, we got audio, and there's no lag or jerkiness in the game. Now, instead of going over the details in this video on how to get this config file set up, I made it very simple. Check out the links in the description. There you can find a link to the config file I've created. It's up on GitHub. You just download it and replace your config file with it, and you should be ready to go. There's also notes there in case you want to modify your config file yourself and make the changes rather than using my config file. If for some reason you have other tweaks already made in your config file, maybe for other emulators. But definitely can get Nintendo games running great on a $9 chip uh, using uh, Madfnafin or whatever this emulator is called. Uh, again, it's not the emulator that I normally use. Get in camera frame here. Say goodbye to everybody, Ember. We're going to be playing some Super Mario Brothers, right? Yeah. Good. Have a great day. I also like to take a moment to ask you if you liked my videos and found them useful, think about supporting my videos over at patreon.com. That's patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There should be a link in the description of the video along with the links to the notes and the config file I was talking about. Also check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to share, subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks.